what I did when I I took the level out and it just comes you can just pry it out quite easily it's not glued in there um, or anything untoward then I just put a grommet in here and a patch cord and so because we're going to need more wire I'm just feeding that wire up through the center like that it'll that's giving me the maximum amount next we're going to remove this base and uh, that's for Phillips screws there that you need to take out and then it just comes out when you have the four screws out the base will slide out and the first thing you're going to notice is lots of silicone gloop all these red and black wires are coming from these four small solar panels and what I want to do is tap into one of these one and on the negative and positive and apply 4.5 volts closer inspection reveals that um, we have these uh, two pin connectors that uh, go on to the circuit board what I'm going to do is uh, just salvage this wire by cutting it off one of the solar panels. So now here you can see this is the homemade patch cord with the heat shrink on it. This is where I connected it in with the connector that I salvaged from the end of the solar panel. And I was able to run it down and out through the base right through one of these slots here then it comes out the bottom of the base and feeds back over to my original patch cord and now what I'm going to do is feed all that slack back down again through my mount pole and in and through there and then I'm going to screw this base back on but before I do that I am going to plug in the DC adapter and then go check the interface through the web browser and see what kind of battery voltage I'm getting reported and my one concern is that perhaps I got a bunch of silicone grease in there and if that's non-conductive then maybe I don't have a good contact with the circuit board through that connection so before I screw everything back together I'm going to double check it. This by the way is what I dug up and uh, because I had it laying around which was a Motorola AC adapter that puts out 4.5 volts and uh, all I did was um, cut the proprietary Motorola end off of it and put one of these generic plugs on there like that. So now I'm going to test it and see if it all works. see from the screen up here in the upper left hand corner where there's a timestamp it has taken about uh, a little over 30 minutes to bring the voltage of the battery up from 2.55 volts to 2.79 let's call it 2.8 we're coming up on an hour now and as you can see from the timeline that we just sped up and did a time lapse and also as you can see from the timestamp right up here that it took a little bit less than an hour to bring the battery up from 2.55 to a, a full charge of about 2.8 and the fact that it is uh, alternating between 2.79 and 2.8 shows that the BMS is regulating the charge and shutting it down at 2.8.